Hello and welcome to the tutorial on addition. In this tutorial we will learn how to add three digit numbers and the number 100. And we're going to do this in the horizontal format. Okay, so let's begin with our first example. Adding 1 or adding 10 or adding 100 is very very simple. Okay, so we've got 346 plus 100. 346 plus 100. Now what do we know about the number 100? Well it's got two zeros at the end. Okay, that's the units and the tens. Now if we're adding this to the number on the left, we've got units and tens, that means that 46 in this example will not change. The tens and the units do not change because we're adding zero zero so they do not change. The hundreds however they do change. We are adding 3 and 1. 3 and 1 is 4. So 346 plus 100 is 446. So I'll just highlight it again. These two did not change. Okay? Did not change. Only the hundred changed. It really is that simple. Let's look at one more. Okay, we've got 687 plus 100. Okay, there's a plus sign, plus 100. Now again, the same principle applies. We got zero, zero, add them together, <coughs> excuse me, add them to the 87, 87 remains the same. The hundreds, well, we're adding 6 and we're adding 1. 6 plus 1 is 7. So therefore, 687 plus 100 becomes 787. Now it really is that simple. Now we're just going to do one more which begins with a 9. And I'm sure you know what the answer is going to be. Okay, this time we've got 997 plus 100. Nice big numbers. So we've got 0, 0. That means that the 97 does not change. Okay, that remains the same. The hundreds, however, we've got 9 adding to the 1, or well, 9 plus 1 is 10. Okay, 9 plus 1 is 10. So how do we write this down? 997 plus 100 is 1097. We put the comma in there to, there's a comma, to separate the thousands from the hundreds. So the 9 went 9 plus 1 equaled 10. I'll just highlight that here. So there's our 10, 1, 0. As for the tens and units, 97, that did not change. And it really is that simple. Adding 100 is not difficult at all. Three-digit numbers and 100 in the horizontal format.